It is a missile test that sent the crew of the International Space Station racing for safe haven in their spaceship capsules, just in case a quick getaway was necessary. For earlier on Monday, according to the U.S., Russia fired a projectile into space and blew up one of its old defunct satellites, sending a debris cloud into orbit one that is made up of 1,500 trackable fragments and hundreds of thousands of others. And they could potentially collide with other satellites or the ISS. Even if the seven-member crew, including two Russians, were able to leave the Soyuz and Dragon capsules and after a couple NASA hours, the United Richard. States said the risk to the research lab and other satellites could last years. Russia's dangerous and irresponsible behavior jeopardizes the long-term sustainability of our outer space and clearly demonstrates that Russia's claims of opposing the weaponization of space are disingenuous and hypocritical. The test has raised a red flag for the U.S. about a new form of Star Wars, with a race by countries like Russia to flex their space muscles with new weapons. Russia did not comment on the test, but said on Twitter that its cosmonauts on the ISS were safe. Also, Russia isn't alone in showing its ability to shoot down satellites. The U.S., India and China have also done it as well. Currently, there are over 4,500 satellites orbiting the Earth that are used for crucial weather intelligence, finance and communications information. So the increasing quantity of space junk and the deliberate creation of it has sparked more calls for international rules on such tests.